Christelle, what is it that you want to do now? I like beautiful images. Could you elaborate? See, younger, I failed in a lot of things. School in particular was not my fort. However, there was one thing I was good at, and that was creating. The entire summer to honestly the entire year, I would lock myself in my room, bringing my imagination to life. Drawing, crafting, designing, to even creating my collection of papers, in which at the time I used to call them my dolls. You name it, I was never bored as a kid. I've watched my teachers tell my parents, Christelle has a memory problem. She has a hard time focusing in class. If only they knew. I never paid attention to them. All I wanted is to get home and do my thing. March 2015, I get a present. A surprise. And this, my friends, is my first camera. Now it was about to know what to do with it. I didn't know it yet, but this was the beginning of it all. I would spend hours and hours crafting film, learning about it on YouTube. Watching movies became like school to me. It was like an escape to reality. I loved it with no doubt. But because I had to focus on my grades, I couldn't film during the week, so I would have to wait like a ticking bomb for the weekend to actually film. I was having a blast until I got asked. So, Christelle, have you planned what college you're gonna go to? I don't know. The issue was, I didn't know what to do when the answer was right in front of me. I always saw film like a hobby, like my play zone. Never saw it as a career. Is that the thing? The year later, I found myself walking in the enchanting city where dreams come true. New York. Picture this, 7,000 miles away from my dear old family. To become a filmmaker at the New York Film Academy. Though I wasn't entirely certain of what it meant to be a filmmaker, nevertheless, I had to prove myself or else face a barrage. So there I was learning film, pulling all-nighters like a deprived maniac, writing script that could reveal Shakespeare, well, maybe not quite, but you get the idea, to shoot, edit, until assignment complete, but with an A plus this time, you heard me right? I met people who loved the same thing as me, I saw how better I was becoming, I felt in my place, everything about New York was promising. After making up to eight short films, winning awards, I graduated my first year. Now it was time to pursue my bachelor's degree. But then, I dropped out. A lot happened on the unseen that I can't go in details right now. What you can know is that I left New York for a city I didn't want to be in. Lost someone very important in my life that I thought I'd never lose. And I felt like I couldn't do film in fear to be seen as a joke because I was clueless about how to make a living of what I love. So there I was, 21, drowning in bills, working a 9 to 5. But during this time, I must confess, I did try to film again. This little side camera. The Sony A5100 was the only survivor in my bag after losing all my precious professional gear in the depth of America. I wanted to film, but not with this. I wanted to create my ideas, but not with the lack of what I had. But slowly and surely, I started creating excuses after excuses and never did anything that I kept my heart to do. I didn't like any of this, my routine, my 
the nine to five thing, the bills drowning, no sense of accomplishment. I didn't like any of this. So I quit. With the little I've saved up, I wanted to start my online business, a jewelry store. Okay, don't, don't get me wrong. I do like film, but apart from film, I do like entrepreneurship as well. So I thought it was gonna be a nice way for me to get started with it, right? The plan was simple. Market, sell, and enjoy the rest of my life at the beach, technically. That's still the plan, by the way. I knew to sell, I had to create appealing content. But despite the limited gear I had, I had to make it work to make the best video campaigns and sell out my inventory. Sure, it took some while to get things heating up, but it worked. Sales after sales, I felt a sense of accomplishment, like people were buying my jewelry and around the world, like I was surprised. And I'm still am up to today because this is what is happening right now. The campaign videos were working. And without noticing, I, just like that, I started filming again. But I'm happy and I'm proud to be a brand owner and all the hard work I'm putting in my brand is working and paying off. Whew. But wait, now I really want to pursue film as a career. Like, for real. After months of actually beating my head over it because I was scared to actually do it, I decided to finally pursue my dream as a filmmaker without really knowing where it's gonna lead me, um, but while staying hopeful. This video is to tell you that you have a passion, you have a purpose, and you know it. Okay, maybe you don't know it yet, or you don't notice it yet, but you have it. It's gonna take time for you to notice it. But everybody has it. Everybody in this world has a calling. And I think the hardest part when you know your passion is actually pursuing it, is going all for it, working real hard until you make it without knowing the consequences. But I'm here to tell you it is going to work. I do believe with a little bit of faith, putting it in the hands of God and working really hard, your dreams will come true to life. So start that business you, you wanted to start a few years ago. Start that YouTube channel, start your, I don't know, start traveling the world. Start that thing that really passionates you because deep down in my heart, I do believe that passion is your purpose. I don't know, it's, I don't know how, I feel like it's very connected. God has kept you something that you really love. So why not just put it out there? I don't know, like, you know what I mean? And I can't wait to share you my journey as a filmmaker in this platform on my YouTube channel where I'll be sharing my tips and tricks that I know as a filmmaker, sharing my journey on how to find clients, like all those things that I actually know and I want to learn as, you know, time will come, you know what I mean? But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and um, I hope yeah, I just hope it just motivated you or inspired you or pushed you to go all for it in what you actually truly love. And uh, I'll see you Sunday. Thank you so much, guys.